Hello class, this is Mamses signing on. This video lecture presents to you some sample programs for beginners and explain the source code. On the next slide, you will see some Python applications. You have just witnessed some sample applications of Python programming, and you can do better than that at the end of our course. But before that, let's start from simple sample programs. For reading input from the keyboard, Python provides the input function. Input reads what the user types at the keyboard and returns it as a string. Here is an example that can combine input and print to capture a person's name and then display it on the screen. That is what you see. The string passed as an argument to the input function is the prompt that the user will see. In this example, you are asking the user to type his or her name. Enter your name. Once the user types a name and presses enter, the input function will return the function's return value is the text that the user typed, and that text is assigned to the variable named name. Here. The name variable is then used as an input or argument to the print function, which will out output the name that the user entered. Just like what you see here in the output dialog box. Reading numbers is input. The input function always returns the typed value as a string or text as you all know. This makes sense because the user can enter whatever value they like. Even if the input is a valid number, it's still returned as string type from the input function. For example, look at your screen. Running this code and entering the value of the 1128, for example, would display class string, even though the value itself is numeric. To turn the value into a true integer variable, you can use the int type function. Look at your screen again. This code will output class int for the value 1128. You can use the float function in the same way if you expect a fractional, a fractional component. As you can see here, on our first output, the value 1128 was accepted as, as a string. But this time, after modifying our source code, the value 1128 now is accepted as integer number. Okay? Now, let's use what you learned about print, input, and string concatenation. 
to display um, personalized greeting using uh, Python script. Your source code could be print welcome name equals input enter your name print hello plus name. When prompted, type your name and press enter. Confirm that a personalized greeting ap appears in the output. Welcome, enter your name, mom says, hello mom says, something like that. Now, if, if you want to add an exclamation mark after the name, so the greeting reads, hello mom says, with exclamation point at the end, I mean exclamation point at the end. How would you do it? So here's a tip. A single Python statement can use multiple plus operators to concatenate several strings, just like what you can see on your screen now. To modify the program to add an exclamation point to the end of the output and run the app to verify the results. So as you can see here in our new output just popped up in here we modify we add using the plus operator we add the exclamation point here at the end after the variable named and that is why we have now the result with exclamation point compared to the first one with no exclamation point all right now that you're you've experimented with reading input and creating variables let's try a slightly more complicated python program a simple additive calculator like what you see on the screen add a few comments into the python code to document what your program does here is an example program you can use to guide your work. Remember to return numbers from the input function. You have to convert the string to a numeric value using either int or float. Here, we're using int, but either convention, a rather conversion would be fine. Also, to output the numbers in a string, you have to use the string function to convert them to a string so you can concatenate the results. And you're done. See? That's simple. So we have here on our sample code. As I have said, you can use this. You can revise it also uh, if you want to be more creative and you want to add something more that would uh, make your sample simple calculator better. So we have here on the screen a very simple example we have here input the first number enter the second number and then a simple formula result equals x plus y and then we have here the output simple output now you can come up with your own version make it more user-friendly and more creative. And that's it, our very simple sample calculator. When you're done doing it by yourself, well, I'd like to say congratulations. You created and executed your first Python program and started your journey to being a Python programmer. Python is a simple language and yet a powerful one. Learning it opens the door to a whole new world of data exploration, discovery, and even visualization. Now that you've learned the basics, use them as a building blocks for Python applications of your own. Okay? So, that's all for now. Up next, more sample programs. This is Mom says saying, don't give up. Goodbye, class. God bless. Di ko mapipigil ang aking nadarama. May chinita, girl, may chinita.